Hi friends, Ben here. Welcome to another episode of Fire Emblem The Blazing Blade. Last time, we reunited with Lynn uh, in an attempt to save her, um, her home from an invasion by Laos. And this time, we take back the castle in hopes of finding Lord Hausen. Elwood and colleagues defeat Bakker, one of Marquess Laos's lackeys. They then press on toward Castle Kaelin. Yet inside the castle, many Laos soldiers remain. Elwood and friends begin their assault on the castle to save Marquess Kaelin. Welcome to Chapter 16, Whereabouts Unknown. There are still quite a few lost soldiers in the castle. Where are the Kaelin guards? I think about half of them were killed in the surprise attack. The survivors must be here somewhere. They might be locked away as prisoners. We'd better rescue them quickly. If Marquess Laos decides so to hold them hostage, it will make seizing the throne much more difficult. It's settled. Let's find the guards and retake the castle. Hold on, Grandfather. We'll be there shortly. Seize the throne! It's time to reclaim the castle! Alrighty. Elliewood just explained the goal of this chapter. Now... The objective is to seize the throne, and it's gonna be our first castle map. Well, it's at least our first uh, castle map of Elwood's story. I mean, there's still Lynn's story. Um, and let's see. Okay, you definitely want to bring Matthew. Um, I think I'm gonna swap Guy out for Lynn. Do want to bring Florina and Kent along? Lowen, I'm sorry, buddy, but this is. This is pretty much, uh, I, but yeah, I, uh, don't think, well, this is pretty much the, uh, the end, of uh, the end for you, in terms of, like, usage. I'm not really going to use Lauren anymore. I'm still going to use Marcus, though, because he does have some usefulness. Um, let's see. Um, oh, yes, 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 we need to trade Lin's heavy spear. I think I'm going to trade it to Kent. Hey Kent, you can finally use the heavy spear! Woo! Woo hoo! Yeah! Florina's got that horse slayer. She's going to need that this chapter. Um, Loan's got a red gem. Yes, okay. You can sell items to Merlinus. And it'll have the same value as if you sell them to an armory or shop. So yeah, if you really need gold this chapter, do that. All right, uh, and okay, even though you now have a convoy that can hold like a hundred items, you, I mean, it might, it still not might be, a, it still might not be a bad idea to just keep on, um, what was it, to keep, uh, to keep items in, in a character's inventory, even if you're not going to use them, because convoy space is not unlimited. I think I'm actually gonna swap out Sarah, and I'm, I'm gonna bring in Earth. I want I want him to see some action this chapter. And let's see, I'll just get rid of any excess items that characters can't use. Gonna give Matthew's Thunder Tome to Merlinus. Um, I think. Hmm. I don't want to equip Lin with an Iron Blade. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I think I like where we're at here. Um. Hmm. We're going to need to buy some new items at some point, but, like, we can, we can, um, we, we'll be able to do that. There's plenty of opportunities to buy new stuff in this game. Um, let's see, Dorcas, I'm going to send with the crew. Um, yeah. So, okay, Merlinus will, Merlinus's tent will be around this area, and you want to, you want to assign a few units to protect him. Like, not just one, trust me, it'll help. Um, and I want to move Kent, um, close to, uh, close to the Lords, because Kent and Priscilla are invaluable here. Alright, let's just see, um, 
let's just see what Hannah has to say. I know I didn't do that in the uh, last chapter, but... <laughs> so you seek insight into your next battle. Will you pay my price 50 gold? Yes. All right. Sky Riders, beware. This battle is not for you. You will need a thief. There will be a meeting. Take the polite girl, the flame-haired beauty. And again, take your rapier and hammer. That is all I see. But maybe you'd like to hear it again? Nope, I think we've got it. But yes. Um, our lord's personal weapons will be great here, as will um, Kent's heavy spear that I've equipped. Um, and Urk's magic, too. So, yeah. Um... Florina, Oswin, and Marcus are going to be our, like, our, um, are going to be kept at the start, because, I mean, I am not going to stop using, okay, as you can see, this map is full of archers, I'm not going to stop using Florina because of that, because I do want to use her, I'm just, I'm going to keep her at the start, I feel like that's the best thing to do with her, but yeah, there's a lot of archers, <laughs> okay, uh, I like this formation. I like basically all that we've done. Let's do this. Merlinus became level 7. Yes, I will deploy him. Ben, the captured Kaelin soldiers are most likely exhausted. I'd like to protect them and keep them from having to fight. I realize that makes it difficult for you to plan a strategy, but I will do my best to take up their share of the fighting. Now please tell us what we should do, Ben. As you wish, Ellywood. Let's do this. Okay, so, yeah, this this map is where the game starts to get pretty hard. Um, I think, okay, out of curiosity, yeah, Osman can still reach that archer if I need him to. Um, I'll, I'll have her use the thunder on this, sorry, no, the fire on this, on this archer. Yeah. I'll just clear out these guys before I detail the next phase of my strategy. Alright. Oswin gets a level up already, nice! HP, speed, luck, defense, resistance, that is a good level up! I mean, I would have appreciated strength and skill too, but, I mean, that's pretty awesome. Alright, now... Hector can one-shot this guy without the wolf bell. Let's do it. Alright. I'm going to also send Matthew to Merlinus. Oh wait, no, I, I can't. I, yeah, um, okay. Who here has a vulnerary? Uh, I need to equip, I need to get one for Matthew. Um, Lynn has one. Florina has one. I want Florina to keep hers, so. Yeah, I'll just have Lynn take care of this archer. Uh, oh darn, the iron sword can't take her out, no, but. I can I can have Matthew finish the job. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. And yeah, you want to okay. Okay, so here we go. We have Lucius is back. He's not carrying anything so far, but he will be soon. Um, yeah, these three soldiers, you want to keep them alive. Now, okay, Raven's an enemy here, but you don't need to worry about that much yet. Um, he is also recruitable. Uh, Priscilla is the character that recruits him. That that was what Hannah was saying about the, you know, the, um, sorry, in the augury there. But yeah, you want to keep these three soldiers alive at all costs, all right? Because there is a side quest to this chapter, and to do, to be able to do that, you have to keep at least one of these soldiers alive. 
Now, keeping one alive gets you a mine, keeping two alive gets you a light rune, which is basically like a barrier. You can place that somewhere and prevent an enemy from attacking you. And But, but keeping th all three of them alive gives you a red gem. So, yeah, you want those sellable items. Alright. Yeah, and so, yeah, the best thing we can do is move is move Kent and Priscilla up north as, fa as fast as possible. Okay, yeah. Priscilla's not in any danger from that archer. Dorcas will, uh, will join the fray. And Marcus and Florina will just protect uh, Merlinus. Hey you, let me out of here. What? Marques Ostia's brother is among your enemy, right? Let me out, and I'll help you, but I must have the brother. I have a score to settle with House Ostia. Do you think me a fool? You work for House Kaylin. I cannot trust your word. Then I'll have to break down this door and go through you. You were using Lucius as a hostage, but now he's here with me. Ugh. No, Lord Raven, you mustn't! You cannot betray your debt to Marques Kaylin. Shut up, Lucius. You think me foolish, but you don't understand. How about it? Very well. You, get out! Remember, if you betray us, your companion dies. Uh, I see. Just remember, if that happens, you die next. Ugh! Wait! You can't go alone, it's too dangerous! Lucius, stay here and be quiet. I'll be back for you. Lord Raven! Wow. <laughs> There is definitely some tension between those two. Huh. Ooh. Kinda knew that was gonna happen. Alright. Okay. Alright, I'll have Urk attack the archer. Yeah, Urk doesn't have the constitution to use, uh, to double with Thunderdomes. Alright. Here we go, here we go! Yeah. And then, Elliewood will finish the job. Okay, Elwood, sorry, Elwood, um, Matthew should be able to take a hit from this guy. Um, I think I'll send Dorcas with him just for backup. Um, yeah, just attack him. Alright, he gets attacked, but, you know, we should be okay. Okay, both missed, but I think we should be okay. Now, I don't want to move Priscilla in range of those archers. Oswin and Marcus and Florina will just keep here. Yeah. Alright, he misses Matthew again. Hey, you missed two fives in a row, Archer. You should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You want to have your thief with you. You want to have Matthew with you to open chests. All right. I'm still attacking a guy with a javelin, buddy. Sorry, man. Yeah. Those archers are advancing. 
And yeah, on turn eight, they'll. Okay, yeah. We're on turn three, so we should be okay. But yeah, um. Turn eight is when those soldiers will break out and, uh, and start attacking every enemy they see, including Raven. So, you know, you don't want that to happen. Alright. Yeah, uh. Can. I'll Priscilla heal Kent and then have Kent go. Gets healed. Yes. Kent finally gets to use that heavy spear that he's been wanting to use for oh so long. Alright. Kent gets a level up, too. HP, strength, and speed. Alrighty. Okay. I'll have Lin get the kill. There we go. Yes. Ah, she gets a level of HP, skill, speed, and resistance. Nice. Okay. Archer. Yeah, here we go. Matthew gets the kill. Yes, Andy level up. Levels up. HP and strength. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> You're not getting a lucky hit. And he gets one shot! Nice! Ooh. Yeah, not a very good hit. Ooh, and Matthew gets attacked, but Flux is pretty inaccurate. Let's see what happens. Miss! Love when the enemy does that and not you. Alright. Mm. Like, there doesn't do enough to kill, but... Mm. Alright. Let's heal Kent. Weapon level increase. Nice. B rank and stabs already. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, with a javelin equipped, Ken, Ken should be more than. What? What? Excuse me? Ken missed 273s. Are you kidding me? You missed both of them? What? Uh, I hate when that happens. All right, Dorcas. Well, we'll get it. All right. Does that guy have a what, what weapon? Does that guy have? Yeah, just a steel bow. Yeah, because there there are weapons. There are like. There are long bows in this game that allow you to like that that are like basically two to three range bows, and those are pretty uh pretty dangerous. All right, Hector gets hit. Yeah, I I do not like this archer. <laughs> All right. Probably shouldn't have equipped the javelin. I can't. Okay, got a door key. Good. Ooh, this guy's... 
wow. Uh. Okay, he's just got an iron bow. Kent should be fine. Okay, good. It's actually better that Kent didn't double there because, uh, because then, like, then he'd be vulnerable to another attack. Wow, Kent is getting battered this map. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, have Priscilla heal him again because, yeah, Kent is, uh, <laughs> Kent is really, uh, really getting his butt handed to him. Sadly. Um, have Matthew open the door. Dorcas. I think I can have Dorcas actually go down here and help with the, uh, help, uh, and, uh, and help with the reinforcements that are eventually going to appear around, uh, um, around the southeastern end of the map. Um, because, I mean, he has the same movement range as, like, as our lords, so, uh, as the lords. So, yeah, he, um, there's not really much he'll be able to contribute. I'm sorry, man. All right, Elwood levels up. Skill and luck. Okay, okay, I'll take it. I guess that's okay. Uh, now. Uh, come on, Hector. Hector, you're killing me. Okay, I'll have Lynn use the Monikati. Yes, critical hit! Yeah. I have to rely on um, attack speed penalties from enemies for Hector to double, and I can't say I'm the biggest fan of that. Um, Iron Axe. Finish this guy off, Hector. Yes. Ooh, Hector gets a level up too? Wow. HP, strength, skill, and luck. Nice. Curiosity, what turn is it? Status. Turn five. Okay. Yeah, we should be fine. Okay. And I think I'll equip Kent's sword. Of course he can't double with it. Double with the Iron Lance, though. I think I'll just have Ken do this. Yeah. <laughs> Kent levels up. Just HP! <sighs> Come on! I'm just not getting good level ups this chapter. Okay. Curiosity. No, no, Kent's dead if that steel bow hits him. Um. Okay. Okay, we lured him back towards Matthew. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Matthew gets hit, he's dead. I mean, the enemy's pretty inaccurate, but... Oh, no, 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 no. No, if Matthew gets hit, he's dead. He's just so dead, oh my god. Uh... No. <laughs> This guy drops a hammer. Uh, have Lynn equip the iron sword. And Kentle Guard Crystal. Oh god. Oh boy. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. 
Yes! Matthew survived! Oh my god, that was... That was nerve-wracking. <laughs> Zero hit! <laughs> You're dead, man. You're dead. Okay, I feel a lot more confident now. I feel a lot more confident. Got a hammer. Oh, I know who that's going on. What in blazes? It's getting even noisier than before. Isn't that the sound of combat? It must be Lady Linda. She's found reinforcements. It's time. Hmm? W what are you doing? I thought Aiden might come, so I hit keys and weapons here. Oh, I see. What are you go going to do? Huh? Your master. He's betrayed us. Lucius, I must ask, what will you do? I want to stop Lord Raven. However, in his current state, I doubt he will lend me his ear. And so, I will wait. I will wait for Lord Raven here. I'm sorry, I cannot fight. Please understand. I do. Here, these are for you. For me? Vulnerary in a book of light magic? You don't have to fight. Just protect yourself. I've known you only a short time, but you're a friend. I don't want to see you die. Thank you. Thank you. All right, lads, open that door. Uh, on our all honor as Kaelin Knights, we will save the Marquess. Wait. What? Already? Let me give you a brief explanation of magic. Magic can be divided into three large groups. Anima magic is based on nature. Its attack can include fire and thunder. The basic attack of light is lightning, while dark magic uses a spell called flux. Each type of magic has an affinity for other types of magic similar to the weapons triangle. Light is strong versus dark, dark is strong versus anima, and anima is strong versus night. This is the trinity of magic. So, so amongst light magic is strong against the shaman's dark magic. Remember which class has an advantage over which other class. The game forgot to give us a tutorial, so they're doing it now. Wait, I thought they would open the door on turn 8, though. Wait, what turn is it? It's turn 7. Okay, will they start moving on turn 8, then? Okay, and I... Alright, Raven... Uh, okay, I'll move Priscilla two spaces, because I'm not sure if Raven attacks. Let me just, let me create a suspend point just to confirm this or not. I promise you I'm not, like, okay. I'm not, like, trying to cheat here. <laughs> Okay, Matthew will kill this gosh darn archer right now. Ugh, self-defense right here. Oh my god. Got a chest key. Matthew doesn't need one, he's got a lockpick. But oh boy. Alright. Someone else will. Sadly, Matthew is does not have a full inventory, so he will not be sending it to Merlinus or anything. Okay, he does attack. But he doesn't attack Priscilla. That's actually interesting. Okay. Okay, so they don't move out until turn 8. Okay. But... Priscilla can talk to Raven. You. Hmm? Can it be? I... You don't recognize me. That's not surprising. You were so young when we were separated. What? Are you Raymond? My brother, Raymond? You've grown, Priscilla. Brother! My brother! Tell me, what are we fighting for? Okay, that song sucks. I'm... Um, like, what are you doing here? It's been ten years since Count Carleon of Etruria took you in as his foster daughter. That's right. My adoptive father has treated me with much kindness. But I am of Kaelin's house Cornwell by birth. I still remember father and mother. I've never forgotten them, or you, Raymond, Priscilla. When I heard the house Corn, Corn the, that House Cornwell was lost, I I was so worried about you. So that's why you left Etruria. You've come quite a way. Dear friends of mine, Etruria helped me. They provided a young mage to be my escort. Then we passed through Laos. The Marquess learned of my lineage and refused to let me leave. I would be there still if not for Lord Elwood and his companions. His companions? 
Lord Hector, Lady Lindis, they're all such kind people. I'm so glad I came to Lycia, and now I've found you. You've become friends with him? Raymond? I see. Then I will join you. Dear brother, will you truly come with us? I could not refuse my little sister, and besides, what is it? It's nothing. You're better off not knowing. Tell me, your lineage. Do Elwood and his friends know of your heredity? No, we've never spoken of it. I see. That is best. Brother. Priscilla, we must, we must keep our relationship secret, okay? Alright, if you say we must. Another thing. My name is Raven now. Raymond is a name I've discarded. Brother, you have your reasons, don't you? I understand. As long as we can travel together, I'm happy. If we continue on, we'll be able to see father and mother, too. Priscilla. That's... Alright. Now, sadly, Priscilla... Sadly, this is not, uh... What is it? This is, um... This is not, um... A more modern Fire Emblem game where you can talk and then, uh... And then, um... Do actions. I forget what... What, um... Uh, what game that person originated in. I think it's Path of Radiance. But we have a new unit! Raven! He's a mercenary. So, therefore... While he may be sword and footlocked, he is a lot more balanced than Gi, or your average Myrmidon. He is, and he also gains access to a new weapon class on promotion. <laughs> yes, but yes, while Raven may be sword and footlocked beforehand, not only, uh, not only does he become more versatile going forward, but he is also more than capable of holding his own against most enemies. He has high bases and growths in offensive stats, too. And, I mean, while he may have low resistance and luck, he more than makes up for it anywhere else. Now, I did not mean to go to Merlin's. But yes, Raven is also a longtime favorite unit of mine that I have used a lot. So, yeah. Sword and Footlocked unit that's really worth a lot. I mean, he won't do much against these knights, but... I mean, you never know when, when he might come in handy. Alright. Now I'm finally going to have Matthew open this, these chests. Alright, first one is a Hero Crest. Ha! <laughs> Speaking of which... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, that that uh, that item promotes warriors. Sorry, no. Uh, for, promotes fighters into warriors, uh, myrmidons into sword masters, and um, and mercenaries into heroes. So yeah, very useful. All right. 